Well, hello and welcome to my beautiful home studio, also known as the garage. So the other week, Rob from Rob's Tabletop World sent me some miniatures and he said, Jonna, you need to practice. You need to practice your miniature painting. So he sent me a couple old minis that he had done demonstrations with in the past and he said, go ahead and, and see what you can do with them. So I thought what I'd like to do, uh, in my last video where I was experimenting with miniature painting, I did Cynethal Priming. And that's when you paint your mini black and then you do a special white highlight spraying of paint above it to kind of um, make it look like the sun is shining down on that figure. Uh, I really liked the results last time and just just for fun, just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to do one dragon with Cynothel priming and the other one with plain priming and I'm going to see if I like one better than the other or if there's no difference. I don't know, I'm just curious to see. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with the priming right now. issue with this gray primer I'm gonna show you it's getting like a like this build up on it oh yeah it's like super gunky you know I'm curious if it dries if I can like brush it off some of the oh it's like so powdery Look at the box, look at all this like, look at that. It's not wet. It's... What is this? This is not normal. I'm gonna try and clean him up as best I can and try and paint him with a paint that isn't defective. It doesn't even look good. Never a normal paint tutorial, never. This is not how you should paint minis. This is not normal. Yeah. feeling guilty for not weeding. I'm feeling nervous about painting for some reason. I think it's because of all the new stuff I have to try out. Ah, let me show you. All right, so these are the new paints. Rob sent these to me to, to work with. Um, so I'm really excited about, about having all these new colors and, and painting with Army Painter. I've, I've never used their paints before, only their washes. Um, and he also sent me these wet palettes. Um, so I'm curious about these. He said you just put your paint on them and it keeps your paint looking good longer and like more workable longer. So I'm excited to try these. Dan, I asked Daniel what he would like. He's, our, he's my DM most of the time. And so since he's planning stories for us and things, I ask him what sort of dragon he might want to have on hand. Um, and he said he wanted something that looked more natural, like something that looked more like the way maybe an alligator or a lizard would look, like something not so fantastical, um, but more nature -y and neutral. So this will be the color of the scales. So it has like grays, 
kind of deep blues, very, very dark grayish blues, and then some of this like um, light, like burnt orange in here. Um, and then I love these like little bushes and trees. So I do kind of want to have like green coming out at different parts, maybe like right above his shoulders or near his snout. Um, just have this like greenery kind of growing off of him. For this dragon in particular, I'm going with a concept for um, a pearl dragon. Um, I know this is kind of crazy, but so the idea is there'll be like this very, you can't really tell in this picture, it's not a great example. But the colors I'm going to be using is like a mauve, purpley, maybe a little bit of pink. Um, and that's going to be on this section of the belly of the dragon. And then um, the scales on the back are going to be pearly and the wings are going to be white and pearly. So it's going to be like an oyster shell, clam shell, pearl dragon. And my secret ingredient for this, I went to the, um, the pharmacy and just bought some nail polish, enamel. I'm going to paint the dragon white and then just add um, like little bits of this all over the scales to give it that like shiny pearly look okay so i'm just gonna start with these darker shades i have a dark blue um it's actually not that dark blue but i'll make it dark and then black and then this dark gray and that'll be the base coat for this mountain dragon over it with the bubbles away. Mmm. Okay. So I kind of missed that step. I better go clean my phone. <laughs> this is a very helpful tutorial if you want to learn how not to do minis. Don't paint the phone. So that hopefully I'll still get a sense of where the highlights are and where the shadows are. color blocked with crazy colors but I really want to bring out the details now so I'm going to try a couple things one thing is I'm gonna try doing a purple wash on the horns and seeing if I like 
how it brings out the details in these horns and I may do that more on the dragon then. And I'm also going to be doing a dry brushing of just white over the entire thing to give it, to kind of soften it a little bit and give it more of a silky look. This guy, I felt like I was pretty much done with. But Dan was like, I think you could go a little bit further with it. He recommended trying a green wash on him since he is kind of a mountainous creature. Um, and we can play around with him like looking like he's of the land a little bit more. Um, so we're going to try green wash. I'm going to try it in his wings in this like skin area to make it to bring out some more detail. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. Playing around with the washes. Finally done with the dragons. There's this one. These are two dragons. This one is the pearl dragon, and this one's the mountain dragon. And I'm really excited about them. I'm really happy with how they turned out. The Using the um, nail polish for the pearly finish worked beautifully. It worked really, really well. It was super stinky, but it worked really great. And Daniel suggested adding this like little green flocking on the um, mountain dragon. It really does make it come to life. For um, the mountain dragon, I did a lot of dry brushing. Um, I also, after much hesitation, decided to go with a um, medium wash, a medium tone, the medium tone wash by um, Army Painter, and it really just gave it a nice depth and kind of made him look a, a little bit more dimensional. For anyone who's interested by this one here, and for my future self, what I ended up doing is I, I painted it completely white, and I wasn't getting the the detail I wanted, so I added tints of white over top of the the base coat that I did. So on parts of the on this part of the body, I did like a slightly grayish tint, and on the wings and on the lighter side of the body where the highlighting was, I did like a slightly yellowy off white, um, very slightly yellowy off white um, tint and then I dry brushed pure white over top and it really brought out a lot of the um, the details that I wanted to see um, in addition to that I did do some of the purple wash on the face and the horns and then I did a white dry brushing over that and that really came together nicely uh, and then the final step was to just you know dot the whole body here and there with that pearly um, pearly white nail polish which m really makes it makes the light bounce and come alive as a final step I went in and I shaded in different parts like around his na nails and around the different um, like the different bends in his legs with the the purple tone to kind of give it a little bit of that shadowing and shading. It's, it was just really cool to see how the different techniques came together and made these really unique. I just want to thank Rob for sending these to me. It was such an awesome opportunity for me to work on dragons. Um, that was just so kind and I thank you for your generosity and giving me this chance to uh, experiment and play around with miniatures so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know learned from some of my mistakes <gasps> there were a few uh, but it was really fun I I hope you um, subscribe if you like this video and you'll see more because I, I think this is something I'm gonna you know keep doing for for a while now because I really enjoy it. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know. I hope you guys have an awesome day and thanks again for watching.